Lesson 3.5, angles of a polygon. We just did a triangle, now we're doing a polygon. A polygon means many angles. Yay. Um, we've done the simplest polygon, a triangle, because you can't have a two-sided shape, doesn't close off, so a triangle is necessary to make it a polygon. But let's generalize for more sh sided shape polygons and see if we can specify certain ones, because we're going to build up to... a from triangles quadrilaterals very soon. So anyway, polygon has four sides. Uh, pardon me, has at least three sides and must have segments for sides. So polygon. All right. Not a polygon would be things with curves. Things where we have an extra line in there. Things where lines cross over. So none of those are, are polygons. This is kind of obvious. I'm not too worried about this. I think you'll handle this no problem. I am a little worried about the next one. We're just going to deal with convex polygons. These are convex polygons. Concave polygons have a dent in them. There's a really good way to remember which one's convex and which one's concave. Of course, I'm not going to tell you, so you'll have to figure it out. I'll give you a hint right there. So since we're using mostly convex polygons, and we know that these angles add up to 180, how do we figure out how much these angles add up to? Well, that's a square, so you probably know. 90, 90, 90, 90. Angles add up to 360. Is there another way to figure that out? This is the way I do it. Triangle 1, triangle 2. 1 has 180 degrees. 2 has 180 degrees, should be 360 degrees total, add them all up. That's the way I remember it. Works for me. Don't memorize the stupid little formula you're going to see in a few minutes. Just makes life a lot simpler. So like a five-sided shape. Oh, well, there's three triangles in there. Three times 180 is 540 degrees. Notice this is no longer a polygon because I've drawn in those things, so I suppose I should just dot them in. I'm not saying that they're become part of the polygon. I'm just saying that's how I add up the angles on the inside. So there it is. Number of sides. Minus 2 times 180. Hexagon, one, two, three, four, five, six sides. You would get six minus two times 180. That would give you 720 degrees. Or you could just look at it and say one, two, three, oh, four triangles, four times 180, 720. That all makes sense. This does not. Exterior angle for a square exterior angles you can see you extend one of the sides out 
add up the 360. Let's try it on an equilateral triangle. I draw it better in red. These are all 60. This is 120. This is 120. This is 120. So this makes no sense. Always adds up to 360 degrees for external angles. The inside was a formula and it changed. This one always stays the same. Why? I have no idea. It's one of those mysteries of the universe. God was designing it. He said, yeah, for the inside not angles, I'll, I'll let them add up to you know varying amounts, and it'll be based on the number of sides. But for the exterior, it'll always equal 360, no matter what the shape. And it does. Makes no sense. None whatsoever. So there you have it. Remember it. I actually use this fact, too, rather than adding up the middle, since that's an easy one to remember, 360. Use that a lot. So three sides, we call it a triangle. Four sides, no, we don't call it a square. No, we don't call it a rectangle. Quadrilateral. Five sides, pentagon. Six sides, hexagon. Seven sides, Greek letter for seven, heptagon. Eight sides, octagon. Go look up the rest yourself. I'll pop quiz you on it, see who's been paying attention. And yes, I do know the answers to those. And I mentioned this last lesson, regular, equiangular, equilateral, regular, hexagon. No, it's not actually regular because I can't draw it. That means each side's the same and each angle is the same. Boy, are you going to see a lot of this. Lots and lots and lots. That's it for now. Lots of information. Good luck.